Hello and welcome, Fish here. In this video I'm going to look at a small tool called the BMS Kneeboard DDS Manager. And this manager allows a user to manage uh, packs which are used to create the kneeboards. And it utilizes the weapons delivery planner or even easy boards to create the packs. So it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, create the DDS files from the PNG files. It just stores the DDS so you can recover them. In this, I'm going to demonstrate how it works. And in a follow-up video, I'll demonstrate how to install it and how to configure and create packs. So currently you can see we're set to the Korea KTO theater and BMS is actually currently set to KTO. And we have a number of what I call DDS packs here. This one relates to a mission called FISH001 in KTO theater. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this pack of DDS files into BMS. And if we open them and look at them, we can see what the DVDS files consist of. You can see they, they have various information, uh, checklists and charts as you would uh, need for the mission. You can see we also have the first couple of pages which contain the briefing information for that mission. All that pack is all we need to use for to fly that mission. So we don't need to use the weapons delivery planner in this case because we have a full complement there. So what I'm going to do is select this one and I'm going to click on restore. And it tells me that the, the pack has been restored into the game. So now all I need to do is go to the game. I selected the mission in the game. Save the data cartridge. Apply the mission. So if we look at the kneeboards, we can see we've got all the information for Yishan. That's what we're flying out of. We can see we're Plasma 7 there. Flying out of Yishan and we've got the charge for Yishan on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we've got our various checklists that I would use throughout all the missions and the first couple of pages contain the briefing information so you'll see those checklists repeat throughout all the different uh, theaters now what we're going to do is we're going to fly another mission in another theater and i'll show you what you need to do to do that and this process will load a new set of uh, dds files into the game and so when you switch into the game automatically you will be in the correct theater and using the correct kneeboard pack. What I need to do here is I need to change to the Balkans. I'm going to say change the BMS theater because we're in Korea KTO. And I'm going to choose this mission here, Fish 004 SA2. And I'm going to click the restore button. Click through the warnings. And before we go, I'm just going to have a quick look at that just to make sure it's the correct one. And if we look at the briefing, we can see it's Mud Hem 6 out of Ranchi. And that's the chart, or that's the flight plan for it. Oh, I don't need to look at anything else here. What I need to do is fire up the game, load the data cartridge, and get into the pit. So we're in the pit now. We've had to change nothing. We haven't opened the, the weapons delivery planner. And we can see we're in the chart for Mud Hem 6 out of Ranchi. And if we thumb forward, we can see our flight plan. And we can see where we've got all the air base, the chart information for Ranchi. I think there's probably only two. Yeah, there's only two. And on the right hand side, we have the various elements here that I would use for the, uh, the theaters. And if we click forward, you'll see there's a couple of pages which are specific to this theater. So um, these pages don't get loaded, for instance, if we're in anything except the Balkans. And the rest of the stuff, I would load each time. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do an Israel. And we're going to click on Fish001 from Israel. Once again, change the theater. So now we've loaded up Fish001 and we're going to jump into the game.
So we can see it's Warhawk 2 out of Ben-Gurion. Save our data cartridge. And take off. So we can see we're Warhawk 2, which is the correct card um, out of Ben-Gurion. If I push forward, we'll see we have the charts for Ben-Gurion, a number of them there. And on the right-hand side, if we thumb through our checklist, we'll see our Balkans specific um, checklists are gone, but we have all the other checklists that we need. Finally, I'm going to demonstrate what we can do um, if we only have a an airbase pack made up and how we can just use the airbase pack and use the weapons delivery planner to add the briefing data onto it so we don't have to recreate all the bring in the charts every time we can just select it once we've made it so once you've made up a pack for a particular airbase it's easy to just load it up and add in the data card the, the data card information or the, the briefing information and we're going to do that now so we're going to restore Yishan from the uh, KTO packs there. You can see we've selected it. We're gonna uh, um, select change the theater. And I'm going to click on the restore button, click through the warnings, and the pack should be restored into the game for the KTO theater. Let's have a quick look at what it, this is and why it differs from a mission pack. You can see in the mission packs, these first two DDS um, pages are loaded or are completed with the briefing stuff but in this case we've got no briefing information so what we've got to do is we've got to use the weapons delivery planner just to add the briefing information and it's a simple step we've just selected Jishan because we know that's the base that we're flying this mission out of and if you were in a dynamic campaign for instance and you're flying out a particular airbase once you've got the airbase pack made up it's a very simple job then having that loaded up just go in to the to the weapons delivery planner and update the file and notice that when we come back to KTO when we switch on the file open it's always going to put us in the correct location so we don't have to be navigating back through different theaters the one we want to load up here is fish 001 AGML AGM 65L and I'll press OK to that I'm going to select the file and now it's simply a matter of clicking the update need board and clicking the save and the only job we need to do here is to update the briefing information and also you could be using something like the other tool like easy boards to do that at this stage in which case you wouldn't you wouldn't even need to go into uh, the weapons delivery planner at all you just have the easy boards switched on in the background and create your briefing and that automatically updates those first two that first DDS file with the briefing uh, information We've updated that, so let's go into the game now. So the game now should contain everything we, we need for that mission out of Yishan. Plasma 7. So we can see our flights loaded up, flight data on the card. Plasma 7 out of Yishan, and we look, we can see we have all our Yishan information. And on the right hand side we have our various checklists and information. So thank you for watching and in the next video I'm going to demonstrate how to install it and how to create the, the kneeboard packs and give you an understanding of the, the structure of the basis theatre pack and the airbase packs and what differentiates them so thank you for watching and feel free to like dislike subscribe comment until next time fish out